feet and do 40 seconds of speed. With a turn of the turn style, you're on your way. This test doesn't turn. Swinging doors create more of a gate. For the first time, New York City Transit is testing a row of new entry and exit points at one location, at the Sutphin Archer Station in Jamaica. Sensors log when one individual rider goes through and doors close. This looks more efficient. This is easier. You don't need to touch anything. The nearby emergency door has a wider access point with the doors for people with wheelchairs, mobility devices, or luggage. Yeah, tap and go downstairs. On the right. MTA station agents stand by to answer questions. Yep. That is going to go to the new car automatically. Love you, man. Offer help and keep an eye on things. A new customer service center has opened here. Have a good holiday. The agency will monitor fare evasion with this new design. That's never going to stop. We know that. It's also very hard for the people to jump over or go under. Deborah Greif uses the wider access gate with her mobility device. She likes it better than the emergency door because some people follow her in. Once it senses me through, it shuts faster. And if someone is a determined fare evader, I think that's going to be tough to, uh, to beat under any circumstance. But I think the vast majority of folks are not. It hadn't been changed in the inception of the transit system. Well, we're doing that here today, and we're learning from New Yorkers. The agency has estimated fare evasion costs at least $500 million a year. We are talking about it day in and day out and strategizing on ways how we can sort of recapture and, and get folks back into compliance and being good steward of the system. Here you go. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. Different styles will be tested throughout the system. That process could last into the next year. Then we could even see something that hasn't been seen before based on what's learned here.